Hey everybody, welcome to the round 10 preview. Carlton and the Sydney Swans at Marvel Stadium on Friday night. A blockbuster time slot. And uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't going to film this t tonight. You're watching this on Wednesday morning and uh, Tuesday night came around, been run down, feeling a little bit sick and, and tired. And then I watched one video and it just sparked me into life. It was uh, a minute long, just over a minute long, Michael Voss mic'd up at training and just the way the boys are going about it and the way Voss is talking to him and just the principles literally spark life into me. I'm like, fuck this, stop your excuses, sit in that fucking chair and start talking about round 10. It also dawned on me, I mean, I was talking about it on Monday night on the Blue Abroad show about, you know, going to get 45,000 people, it's going to be loud, the atmosphere. I was pretty aware of what Friday would be, but it didn't really hit me until Tuesday evening. And when I'm thinking about, you know, organizing tickets and getting them and they're sorted and then you start thinking about, oh, what's Friday going to be? And then you realize, oh shit, it's going to be massive. This is, this is huge. You know, I've noticed a lot of people who have not fully trusted yet, start to trust. And I'm talking about the real rusted ons and slowly but surely we're getting that full connection with everyone who's starting to believe. And I think once that moment comes, then the whole lid and roof gets blown off this place. And, you know, it really could be Friday night. Friday's a big test. The Swans are, no, nah, the Swans are unbelievable. They're a fantastic club, a great club. They're one of those teams that whenever you play against them, you've got such respect for the way they go about it and what they've been able to do as a football club and as an organization. And, you know, when you're talking about 2022, they're as hot as they're as hot as us, if not hotter. They're they're super and they're they're healthy. And, you know, it's it's a really good test for for us. And one thing we've been able to do for the majority of this season is answer and accept the challenge. Um Michael Voss was coached by Lee Matthews. Lee Matthews wrote a book called Accept the Challenge and talking about that principle. And it really has been something we've been able to do this year. And it's something that I've really not seen for this long, many times in my whole life as a Carlton supporter. Obviously early on, very early on before I turned 10, they were, they were good, but I don't really remember it. I don't really have proper instilled memories of it as what I do now and how connected I personally am now and I guess how a lot of us are right now. And, you know, last week was was a beautiful example of that with all the outs. And, you know, if you look at the outs, there's a lot of them. You know, Zach Williams, Pitto, Mackay McGovern, McDonald, Jack Martin, Honey Kerno, Cunningham. These are all guys that would be really pushing, if not guaranteed, in that starting, you know, 22 slash 23. So you can look at it that way or you can look at the fact that, you know, there's a system that we play with now. And, you know, we've used 36 players, which I believe is the second most um, for the league this year. And everyone's buying into a role and everyone's performing it. And, oh, just sense what Friday night's going to be. Just from an energy point of view, you know, win or lose, I know I know what we're going to bring. I, I now come to Friday night. I come to round 10 and I walk into Marvel Stadium full of confidence knowing that we're absolutely going to give it a shake and I really do feel that, you know, it's another one of those challenges, five day break, quality opponent who doesn't have an extensive injury list at all. They've got pretty much their best players playing this week. And that that's just super exciting for me, knowing what we've been able to do so far and the belief that has been able to grow and foster amongst the group and the commitment and the connection and all of these wonderful things that we've been asking for for fucking years, you know, it's finally starting to show. And, you know, to be able to now put it to the test against one of the teams who I think will be really in that top four race for the majority of the year. I think the Swans are that that good. Um, it's the best, you know, it's, it's awesome. And we've earned the right to play on a Friday night, which is great. We haven't had it gifted to us. And, and you know, we're going to show up and it's going to be so noisy. And the thing about this week... Not that I need to tell anyone how important it is to get there, but I mean, I really do think the crowd can add 3%, maybe 4% more to the group. And when you have that situation, when you have that understanding that that can happen and that can help lift us just a little bit, especially in a game where you probably think it's going to be tight, 
makes the world a difference, I think. And that's why I think, you know, the duty is on everyone now. Like we, you know, we've seen the on-field consistency get better with a lot more consistency to come. And now it's time for the fans to just continue to add that layer. I'm really excited. I, I think we should be trying to break records this season with attendance. But it is going to take time because it's still... There is still a reality that not everyone fully believes just yet. And rightly, wrongly, it is what it is. I don't blame anyone for not having full faith just yet. I know I have full faith. I'm, I'm on board. Let's go. But I'm, uh, you know, the bar is low for me. So that's just my experience. Um, from our point of view with like changes and what's going what's gonna to happen there, I would assume, ultimately I don't know, but I would assume if Lewis Young's healthy and ready to go after health and safety protocols that he'll come in. Um, Riley Beveridge has reported on afl.com.au that Martin and Stock are outside chances to return. I'd be pretty surprised if Martin plays this week. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, it's a soft tissue injury. He's got a bit of a history of it. His body, you know, has broken down, you know, over the course of his career at times. I don't know if it's worth the risk knowing the buy is coming up. Maybe that is worth the risk. I'm not sure. But I, I would just be surprised personally if he was ready to go. Um, having said that, we did get him off the field pretty early in that game a few weeks ago. So maybe he'll do a Patrick Cripps and, and return a little earlier than what we hoped. And then Stocker. Um, I would assume that he's still been able to keep the cardio up. Obviously, with the AC joint uh, or the shoulder injury that he had, it wasn't as serious as what we feared, which is fantastic. So if Stocker's available, we'd love to see him in because I think he definitely gives us a, you know, a better physical identity. You know, He brings that heat. He brings that competitiveness um, and he's, you know, calm and composed and he's got real ability in traffic, which is going to be important because the Swans bring it. They bring the heat and they play a really attractive brand and, you know, there's no secret as to why they've been so good for so long and why this group that they currently have is so good. It's because of the way they play. It's because of the way they're committed. We speak about being a connected team and the Giants last week, there's probably, you know, a bit of a disconnect overall with them. I don't think that's the case with Sydney. I think Sydney are as connected as any team in the league and that's what makes them so dangerous. So it's on. Like it's on for young and old. And ultimately, this is what it's all about. This is why you support. You support so your team can be good, so you can go to blockbuster games and you can get amongst the crowd and really hear the roar. And, you know, it's I know with Carlton games, and that's what makes us so special. It it's it's consuming. You can't help but get up and about and get loud. It's it's one of the key identities of what this whole club's about, passion. And, you know, it brings the little inner child out of a lot of us, if not all of us, and it brings, you know, a real excitement and a real energy. And it's, it's yeah, it's hot. It's going to be hot. It's going to be on for young and old. And I can't wait to see how our group respond and continue on, knowing that there's reasons why it's a little tough, you know. Uh, it's really weird to feel this way, knowing that even if we lose, I still have a lot of confidence in where we're going and where we're headed and the way that we play. You know, uh, I don't fear the embarrassment anymore. I don't want to talk too soon. I know that there's a little bit of that dark voice in the back of the head that's always there in the subconscious because of what we've seen for decades. But I, I really do think it's going away, you know. And, and like I said, if you blink, you will miss it. And I, I can't help but feel like the, the boys are just roaring to really test themselves as well. And they probably feel it. So I think they'll be up for it. I'm, you know, going to get there nice and early and really just soak it in. And hopefully we can crack 50,000 and get right up there. If not, like at least 45,000 have to be there, I think, on Friday. There's no excuse. You know, there's not. it's a, it's a, it's a family-friendly time i think i know that you know it's a late night and all of that but that's what saturday mornings are for uh, maybe the kids can miss basketball who knows so let me know about how you're feeling about this game i'm really excited to see how that sentiment has has gone through everyone else uh, i've definitely noticed a change in in belief overall amongst the supporters and you know obviously reading all the comments and interacting as much as possible you do pick up on different things and you know it's, it's a fascinating exercise so what about the changes what about the swans have you watched much of the swans um, have you identified certain things i know that you know heaney is just that player that i really worry about this week um you know papley's there as well they, they've got a dangerous dangerous forward line and obviously our back line's a bit depleted it's very depleted but 
again, it's about the system. I back our midfield to get the job done. And, you know, that's really what it's going to be until our defenders get back. We're going to have to rely on our mids to make sure that, you know, the Swans aren't getting bulk inside 50s and putting our backs under pressure. That's really what it's going to be. You know, it's the theme of the year, team defense and, and, and playing connected and staying connected. So can't wait. Chat to you in the comments and go the Mighty Blues. Bam!